Well, hello, TRM partners. Pastor Philip with Mom Alberta. We're just delighted to be able to share with you another weekly word. And, uh, you know, we're living in a special time. Mm. And I'm yeah, excited about say. what God's doing. And, uh, you know, we're approaching Thanksgiving and, uh, you know, just the holiday seasons. And we're living in that. Uh, Pastor Elizabeth's running around here. It's holiday. From now on, it's holiday. Holy day. Holy day. That's right. That's well, it's true. It is. Yeah. It's true. Exactly. But this morning, uh, I was praying uh, for this word, and an interesting word came forth. R very interesting word. And uh, I want to share it with you. Now, take these words now, not just as a uh, uh, pick me up for the moment, right. but let it not just. Uh, pick you up, but uh, lift you up and, and, and take you further uh, in your walk with the Lord. And, and we appreciate every one of our partners. We're, we're thankful for you. Uh, we pray for you. We thank you f that you're praying for us and for your financial connection. And uh, we believe the anointing that's on our lives is helping you increase and flow into what God's called you and destined you to be. But I want to read a passage of scripture out of Micah. And uh, God gave me this verse years ago when I was walking through a, a very difficult time. And it's found in Micah chapter 7, verse 8, where it says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall. Mm. I, I shall die. arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. And I can remember a time, Alberta, when I felt defeated. You know, I'm yeah. preaching faith. I was a young pastor, and and uh, finances weren't weren't manifesting, and and uh, it seemed like everything that I was preaching wasn't happening. And uh, I'm casting down imaginations. I'm sitting there walking through this, and and knowing that we've been around the world and back on the mission field, but it was different now with the church, you know, and and uh, so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, it just, the devil was laughing at me. And God God took me to this verse. And it says, Rejoice yeah. not against me, O my enemy, yeah. when I fall. We used I to say shall, that a few times, quite a few times. I shall arise. Why? Because when I sit in darkness, mm. the Lord's going to light it up. The Lord's going to light it Thank up. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, he did that and, this morning. And it's, just, it's huh. just a matter of time before the, uh, the light shines. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Bible says in Isaiah 60, verse 1, Arise, shine, for your light, light is come. come. So when light comes, it, it comes to cause us to rise up. Now, uh, interesting enough, this verse... Uh, you know, I wasn't in sin. Mm -mm. I wasn't backslid, you know. But, you know, uh, there there are people that we have uh, seen in our Christian walk that have backslid. Mm -hmm. And this verse, when you fall like that, uh, you know, get back up. Don't, don't, don't let the enemy laugh you down. Don't, don't let him keep you uh, on the ground. Rise up. I remember years ago when you taught on this, years back, you taught out if you walked out front and you fell down outside the front door of the church and everybody would be coming up, Pastor, what happened? How, how, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just fell. Okay, well, get up. No, I just fell. And people were like, what do you mean you fell, you know? You got to get up. You can't just stay in that position just because you fell. Mm -hmm. Hey, get up. Mm -hmm. You know, step into your righteousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, but this morning when I was praying, God took it in a different slant. Okay. All right? Certainly, if somebody falls, falls short, you know, and they, yeah. they you know, Make a mistake. Got in financial pressure, went out and borrowed a bunch yeah. of money or stopped tithing or whatever. 
yeah, that that's that's falling, and uh, the enemy he'll con you into it and then laugh at you once you do it. Sure does. Uh, but in James chapter one, uh, read verse two. My brethren, count it <laughs> all joy when, when you fall into diverse temptations. Not if. Yeah. When. Well, follow this. Mm -hmm. You know, you've heard me teach over the years, temptation is not to go get drunk or to, no. uh, you know, right. start cussing everybody out or whatever. The temptation is to quit your faith walk, to quit walking in the spirit. But notice it says, when you fall. When you now, fall. if you put those two verses together. Okay. Re don't rejoice against me, O enemy. When I fall. When I fall into temptation. Mm, that's good. So. This <laughs> is. Just, so. Count it all this joy. Falling when. Part, <laughs> this falling part. This falling part. There's 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 times in your faith fight that. Uh. You have fallen into an area that you're dangerous to the devil. Your manifestation is close. And he throws everything he has at you, including the kitchen sink, you've heard that expression. <laughs> and rejoice not against me, enemy, when, when I fall oh. into diverse temptations, thinking that, that, that you got me uh, down, that I'm going to quit. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. The Lord's going to light up. I love it. That's so my good. darkness. So good. So it's in those times, uh, partners, where God can seem like a million miles away. I was telling Alberta, uh, God was really ministering to her this morning, and I told her, I said, "That's how God speaks to you when you're not hearing Him in here. He'll just uh, do little Direct things. Direct you to something to yeah, your, pick up and read, or your devotional, or." Or somebody you're talking to will say a verse or something, or you, you open up word. your Bible, and it's just it's just a beautiful way that God lets you know, hey, I'm right, right here, here, and this is what just I'm a saying. Reminder. But see, the enemy, the enemy wants you to think uh, that you have gotten so far out there. Yeah, God is no. This ain't right. This, and the whole the whole t temptation attempt yeah. that the enemy brings, those fiery darts, those lies, those harassing uh, accusations and so on and so forth, is to get you to throw in the towel and say, that's enough, I'm, I'm, I'm done, right? Well, don't rejoice. Don't rejoice against me, <laughs> oh my enemy, when I fall. Now, I ain't talking about backsliding, I'm talking about Falling into this temptation to quit. That's and it. that's when I'm going to count it all joy. That's when I'm going to let patience have its perfect work. That's right. Because God's going to light up my darkness. And when, when God turns the light on, uh, it's a bright light. Hmm. Yeah, it's a real bright light. The enemy and the enemy darkness can't handle it. The path of the just is as a shining light that shines, shines brighter and brighter, brighter and brighter, unto the perfect day. The perfect day. And so, uh, partners, listen. It's just a, just a real short little exhortation here uh, for you this week. But understand when you're in that faith battle and you're casting down imaginations and you're speaking the word and it doesn't seem like anything's moving doesn't seem like there's any kind of manifestation at all understand the enemy's tr trying to laugh at you and trying to not trying to laugh at you, he's laughing at you yeah and you're trying to keep your cool together maintaining your family your marriage the children your work uh, your duties at the church or whatever, whatever, what are you trying to juggle all this at the same time? Angels are moving. Well, we're, we're seeing so much of that. Seed is growing. Yes. Harvest is on the way. And you got to know that. You got to know that. Fully persuaded. Yeah. But, but, uh, 
everyone, everyone encounters these times. Yes. Not everyone handles them the same way. That's right. And uh, the more t the more you go around the circle yes. of faith, the more you understand and have experience on how to handle them. You, you recognize, okay, all right, you stupid devil. You know, uh, yesterday, yesterday, uh, I was just, uh, it seemed like everything was disconnected. Everything. Mm -hmm. And and I'm just uh, doing what I always do. And I come in here last night to preach. I felt like a million miles away. And uh, got up to lead worship. I didn't feel anything. I mean, just everything, spiritually speaking. I'm so used to being in His presence. Yes. So used to having that. And zero. That's but here's where right. faith gets That's in. It. That's it. Here's where knowing what the word says, right? And you just do what you do. You don't magnify That's it. that disconnection yeah, right. that you're feeling right. because you are connected. He that is joined to the Lord is of one spirit. And you have to just move into that covenant relationship. You know, like I was saying the other, uh, when was it, Sunday morning? I woke up before and I didn't feel married. But I'm married. And it's a and it's and it's a done deal. So you know, does it doesn't matter how I feel. Same thing in our relationship with God. Absolutely. But there will be times when you fall into this place where it seems like. Where am I? Where are you? What 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 what? What's going on? Well, when I got up to teach last night, here comes the flow. You know, here, here, here comes the, the teaching anointing, so on and so forth. And I'm not talking about just moving in a gift. I'm just talking about how the enemy was trying to uh, attack my emotions, not with fear, not with it. Just was this Blah. disconnect. Yes, it was like yes. I'm so used to be. I'm so used to just lifting my hands yeah. to heaven. And, and heaven responding back. I'm so used to just starting to pray in tongues and, and God starts speaking to me. I'm so used to that. So when that doesn't happen, immediately I'll press in a little further and then there it is. But when I press in and ain't nothing happening, you know, that's where, what does this say? That's right. What does the word say? That's really wild because I was going through the same exact thing. I and mean, neither one of us said. There's nothing to yeah, talk about. Right. Well, if we talk about it, even, it, it, even in here. Then no, you, you, yeah, you don't even. You, no, you don't. You don't do that. You, mm -hmm. you, the just shall live by faith. And then this morning, boom. So, yeah. yeah. Rejoice not against me, O oh my enemy, when I fall. Why? I shall arise. Mm -hmm. How am I going to rise? The Lord, when I sit in darkness. And I mean, it's not talking about when sitting in sin. No. Sitting in darkness. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises up a standard against him, right? The Lord shall be a light unto me. Partners, listen to me. We are in a Great very time. good place to be. A phenomenal place. And much if, more so. It, don't, don't buy in. Mm-mm. To uh, the emotional uh, attack on your feelings or whatever. The emotional and, roller coaster. Well, I brought this out one time. Alberta, uh, uh, Pastor Jonathan and myself were in uh, Washington preaching a Marshallese conference. And afterwards, we were out to eat with uh, Pastor Honey. Pastor Honey and Pastor uh, Judah. And the anointing was still on me. And uh, I had my Bible there. And I said, I was talking about, we don't go by our feelings. I said, is that Bible alive? I asked him all that. I said, is that Bible alive? Well, oh, yeah, it's alive. It is alive. That is God. The Word of God is alive and powerful. Sure. I said, and I had a knife. I said, now, if I take this knife and I stab it all the way through this Bible, is it going to kill God? No, it ain't going to kill God. Is he going to feel anything? 
No, you ain't going to feel nothing. Now, he's touched with the feeling of our infirmities. He knows what you're going through. But the point being is, you, if you have that word inside you, and something pierces that, right? I don't go by my feelings. That's it, exactly. I don't go by that. I go by what that book That's says. Exactly the book right. says for me to uh, be angry and sin not. The, the book tells me to, to rejoice and, and offer up and praise. And all joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I remember, Ernie, years ago when I read that he's in light, he'll enlighten my darkness, I asked you about that. I said, what dark? What darkness? And you explained that to me. This was years ago. Mm -hmm. And every time I think of it, I, was, I thought, you know, do I have darkness? Is sin in me? Or no. is that what it means? And no. And when you explained it to me, boy, that it, it was it lit <laughs> up what I wasn't understanding. The right enemy there. tries to bring a cloudy day. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, it just tries to uh, bring yes. that oppression and, and just tries to, you know, he's trying, he's trying to stop your joy. He's trying exactly. to stop your strength. And he knows that the angels are, are bringing into manifestation what you've sown for, what you believed you received, right. so on and so forth. And we've had a lot of prophetic words, uh, about this year and going into next year. And I'm somewhat excited for yeah. us and our partners. Yes. Yeah. So partners, wonderful time. Rejoice. Rejoice. Keep keep your praise up and uh understand if you're going through where it seems like, man, what's up with that? Just keep doing what you always do. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We want to pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we mm -hmm. pray for all of our partners. No matter where they are at at this moment, Lord God, whatever uh, the situation may be, we know that you're perfecting that which concerns That's them. Right. Yes. And no weapon formed against no. them could ever prosper. Right. And we thank you, Lord God, that you're shining the light. Day dawn, thank day you, stars Jesus. rising yes. in their heart. Uh. And you're shining the light in those dark areas where the enemy's mm. just trying to cloud over their, their uh, life. And we thank you, Lord God, for a, a breakout in their life this week in Jesus' name. Yes. And we speak it so. We bless them, spirit, soul, body, financially, socially, in Jesus' mighty name. So be it. Amen. Amen. Well, partners, me and Mama Alberta, we love you. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing.